Good. I'm Jordan. Jordan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. you. How are you? Doing really well. You look um, so nice. Thank you. You look great. I thank was not you. expecting this color. It's perfect <laughs> on you. Thank you. I don't think anyone will ever meet anyone quite like Jordan in their lifetime. He's one of the most interesting people I've ever met. I'm very comfortable with my own skin. So, you know, it's, uh, uh, I, I kind of get that from you. You know, hopefully, you know, the fashion does make me unique. Don't try this at home, guys. This is done by a professional. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's an unfair advantage. Yeah. What? Boom. That's the pensive. I'm Wait, gonna give are you that. a model? I am, yes. Oh. Yeah. I'm a fashion model. Let's go ahead and establish that, okay? The power is in the brows. You know, sometimes you just gotta, you know. And I don't want you to misinterpret me as some guy that's like 007 all the time, because I'm not. Okay. There's a lot to me. I'm really wild, very spontaneous. Love life uh, on the edge. Yeah, I like, to, I like to live life on the edge. Okay. As a gentleman, like, you know, my hair is always gonna be pretty well kept. But, you know, I like, I like to have fun. <laughs> I mean, the boy makes me laugh. He really does. He has the best, most positive attitude. And I appreciate that so much. How are you in a relationship as a partner? I'm just loyal and I'm dependable. I'm a golden retriever. <laughs> I'm feeling confident right now. She sees something in me that she doesn't see in the other guys. And I mean, I'm, I'm really excited for where it's going. So Jordan, I saw these. <laughs> And I really thought of you. I think Becca might have my growing on her mind, and uh, you know, maybe she thinks it's it's worth gold. Those are really shiny. The one-on-one -on -one with me and Becca, like that alone time, <laughs> better than I actually expected. That was chemistry. I mean, that was chemistry at its best. <laughs> Sorry, I can't and take you seriously. Now I'm gonna, uh, uh, uh. I kissed her in golden underwear. Like, pfft. Tom Cruise couldn't even do that. Wait, show me your blue steel. <laughs> you know, you gotta, if you want to look angry, so it's like a. Oh. <laughs> I wish we could get my portfolio out. Somebody, please. I think uh, I think you know what time it is. <laughs> what you know time what I'm is that? I just want to steal one of these from you. He's just easy going. He has a really good energy, but at the same time, I feel like it's always the Jordan show. Can you do the eyebrows? I don't know if Jordan has a more serious side. We should really be sharing much more to our core of who we are, and we're just not there. You're like no one I've ever met before, but as amazing as I think that you are, there is something missing here, and because of that, I don't think I can give you this rose tonight. I did not see that coming. I'm just in shock right now. I'm numb. It sucks. I mean, it really does suck. Wow, dude. The thing I appreciate most about her is the fact that she, you know, she stated that she never met anyone like me. I'm smart, you know, I do have a look. I can speak, I can, I can walk, I'm fit, I do, I mean, like, I wish I knew what she didn't like about me. Yeah, with that being said, um, still on the journey for love. What's it like for you to watch that back? You know, Becca and I had a lot of lighthearted conversations. By the time that I did share what inspires love for me and what makes me tick and who, how I became who I am, it was a little too late. Uh, some of the house dynamics have gotten in the way of that. Why do you think the guys questioned your sincerity so much? I think a lot of the time people think that I'm being serious with some of my deliveries, but I'm not really, a lot of it's very humorous. It's, it's meant to be laughable. And I think that just my sense of humor Tied with my confidence, people were like, this guy, there's no way he's real. However, you know, it's, I, I like to entertain, I like to have a good time with whoever I'm with, whether it's friends or whether I'm in a cardboard box or at dinner or on the beach or wherever. So, you know, you could literally put me in a cardboard box and I will have the best time. So then what's it like if guys like Colton or David call you a clown sure. and just feel like you're putting on a big act? I'll tell you what, not one person in this audience or in this room is more confident than I am. And that's for me to possess. And if you guys don't know what to do with it, you don't know what to do with it. Not even Chris Harrison? So Chris Harrison's pretty confident. <laughs> I, I think he's, I'm looking into my future here. So if you, if you can't be confidently yourself, then what are you doing? Anybody can be as confident as I am. You just have to grow into yourself as much as I have. I've been myself for 26 years. Maybe I, I seem like a clown, that's fine. But I had a good time. I gave her a good time. And so if you guys have a question as to whether or not I was myself, we can play it back, and I certainly was myself. I don't question, Jordan is unapologetically himself, right? And I, I realize that. But the frustrating part and where it came in for me is when I started developing feelings and I started taking this so serious and you know, realizing that this is real. And then I had to go back and watch somebody prance around in underwear, and it wasn't the right moment for me to be dealing with a Jordan while I was working on my relationship.
And it, well, look, let's be honest. Was there some gamesmanship of like, look, I'm going to needle these guys. I'm going to get them off their game. And Well, you know, typically when someone's driving a Rolls Royce, they'll roll the window down here and there. So if I'm becoming into this house being myself, I'm going to roll the window what? down and show myself. I'm going to say, hey, guys, it's good to see you. So am I saying I'm a Rolls Royce? Not so much, just comparison. And what are these guys driving? So remember on Mo and Joe. This guy in the corner is on Mo and Joe. This right here with the black tie is Mo and Joe. I'm rolling by him, rolling my window down, throwing a Slurpee at that guy, so. <laughs> to you. That's Christian, by the way. Christian, it's, that's excellent. You too, Jordan. <laughs> Thanks. And that's the thing, too. If you let it get under your skin, why? You're here for Becca, and you're here for building your relationship. If he wants to wear underwear and dig himself a grave, who cares? But Jordan was here for Jordan. Wear underwear, and, yeah, exactly. and she loves it. You were there for Tia. It's good to see you, Colton. Exactly. It's good to see you. Exactly. <sighs> that doesn't bother me. No. <laughs> I got, I got grocery store Jordan. Well, you had a problem with the chicken. Say something. Say That's something. Right. I like him. Chris I like Jordan. I do. He's a good Look. guy. He got under a lot of guys' skin, and it actually made it worse for people, unfortunately, like David, you know, because on David's time with Becca, he spoke about Jordan, which didn't help his case out. Hey, anyone that's, you know, talking about me, I just want to say thank you. Why do you think David had such a tough time with you? <sighs> I really, I mean, that's a question. David, why did you have such a tough time with me? Because I don't know. No, I, again, I, I think it was the level of seriousness from how serious Becca was taking the process and the lack of seriousness that it appeared you were taking the process, mm -hmm. you know, parading around in underpants at a cocktail party. Um, the antics were supposed to be for night one. You know, people showed up in minivans and people showed up with choirs. I showed up in a chicken suit. And well, let me, just, let me just say this. I tried to understand where they were coming from. I tried to understand why they were so offended by the underpants thing. I just thought it was so cool that she did that. And it showed that she wasn't disrespected by the underwear gimmick. She came in, she said, I just want to have fun tonight. If any of these guys would have gotten in underwear and went and, you know, talked to Becca, it wouldn't have bothered me a bit. It's okay to have a good time. It's a cocktail party. I can't wear underwear. Well, I mean, it's, come on, I, I do whatever I want. It's my cocktail party. I live in this mansion. This is my address right now. So I do what I want. If I want to get, eat Captain Crunch and, you know, mix it with orange juice, I'll do whatever I want. But I mean, God, what is happening? I don't know why I bothered everybody so much. Where's the golden underwear now? Do you, are they still in your possession? They're on me. Oh. You're wearing the golden underwear right now. I am. Yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> Even I don't get paid enough for that. <laughs>